Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Inside Meghan Markle's life, living with her mother. In mid-July 2020, Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, is continuing to relish in her role as grandmother, with an extended stay in the former Duke and Duchess of Sussex's temporary Los Angeles digs loaned out to them by Meghan's famous friend, Tyler Perry. Luckily, there shouldn't be any issue of the mother-in-law in dating the space, considering the home consists of a whopping 24,545 square feet, 8 bedrooms, and 12, yes, 12 bathrooms. A source said, Doria Raglan continues to live with Meghan, Harry and Archie. This has been the most time she has spent with her grandson since he was born. The source also divulged that Grandma Doria has been pulling out all of the stops for little Archie, including getting up early to read to him and even preparing all organic meals for the little type. What what prompted Raglan to become the couple's lid in Nanny? Watch on to find out. Daria Raglan is helping out her daughter and grandson. Daria Ragland purportedly first moved in to help the former royal couple acclimate. An insider claimed that while the royal family may have been caught off, guard with the couple's dramatic relocation and decision to step down from the royal family, Meghan Markle had her mother's complete and unwavering support regarding the move to Los Angeles. Ragland was really worried about Meghan and is relieved that her daughter is putting her mental health and well-being first. Raglan tends to be Meghan's rock, and is one of the few people she trusts. While the actress turned royal may have endured a rocky relationship with other family members, it appears Meghan's relationship with her mother is stronger than ever. The insider also added, Daria is very much about being true to oneself, and so, of course, she will continue to encourage Meghan to take the road less traveled. Here's to hoping Archie never tires of Grandma Doria's cooking or sweet bedtime stories. Another report. Meghan Markle has more heart now that she's free from royal constraints. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, sent shockwaves around the world when they announced their departure from the royal family back in January. The couple, who wed in 2018, had only been working royals together for less than two years. Things were difficult for Meghan, and breaking free was, according to Harry, the only way for the two to live a peaceful life. Now, one royal expert claims the Duchess is thriving outside the royal constraints. Meghan Markle had a tough time finding her way as a royal. When Meghan and Harry began dating, it seemed like they had found their perfect fairy tale. But it wasn't long before the press invaded Meghan's personal life, creating a difficult environment for the Duchess and driving a wedge between her and the public. In an interview with Meghan and Harry back in September 2019, Meghan revealed she didn't realize what she was getting herself into by marrying a prince and claimed her friends warned her not to go through with dating him. Over time, nothing improved between the Duchess and the British tabloids, and Harry started getting dragged down for standing up for his wife. Eventually, the couple realized they didn't want to deal with the relentless press. That combined with their interest in giving their son, Archie, a more private life, caused them to leave the family. One royal expert says the Duchess is thriving during public appearances, now that Meghan and Harry don't have to follow royal rules, they can do things on their own terms. The two have still made charity work their life mission, but when it comes to making appearances and giving speeches, they can do as they please. Meghan recently spoke for the Girl Up Leadership Summit, where she tackled topics with more passion than she might have if she'd been under royal watch. Omid Scabi, author of Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan says the Duchess is giving punchier speeches now that she's found her own way. Scobby said, This was Meghan really being able to talk without the constraints of some of the things you might have to bear in mind 
when writing a speech as a working member of the royal family. Meghan reportedly only spoke from bullet points, rather than having a fully written speech prepared, like she would have as a royal. There have been mixed reports about how Meghan and Harry are doing in Los Angeles. Sources close to the family haven't been in agreement with how the two are doing in their new home. Some have said they're a bit lost in life now, that the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic has affected their ability to make appearances. Others have said the two are enjoying their freedom and raising their son outside the spotlight. Sources claim Meghan feels like herself once again, and the two are looking forward to building a new life far away from the royal family. Another analysis. Royal family is nervous about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, as they are desperately searching for a role in life. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, embarked on a new chapter when they officially left the royal family at the end of March. Since then, the pair have been mostly out of the spotlight, but have popped up now and again in a more limited capacity. According to one royal expert, the Sussexes might be searching for a role now that their royal duties are behind them. Prince Harry and Meghan wanted to step away from the spotlight. In the 2019 documentary, Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, Meghan remarked how damaging it had been to deal with constant media scrutiny. Her friends even warned her when she was dating Prince Harry that the tabloids would be brutal, but she never could have imagined how bad it would get. Meghan said of the negative media attention, It's hard. I don't think anybody could understand that. She continued, In all fairness, I had no idea which probably sounds difficult to understand here. But when I first met my now husband, my friends were really happy because I was so happy what my British friends said to me. Well, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. The Sussexes exited the royal family. In January, the Sussexes announced a plan to step back from their royal duties with the intention of splitting their time in an effort to get some relief from the spotlight. After Prince Harry met with the Queen and other senior royals, however, it was determined that he and Meghan could not have a half-in and half-out arrangement and would leave their royal duties completely with an official exit date set for March 31st. Prince Harry remarked during a speech at a charity dinner in January how it was a tough decision to make, but the right one for them. He said at the time, The decision that I have made for my wife, and I to step back, is not one I made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Expert believes the royal family is nervous, for Prince Harry and Meghan. Author Tom Quinn's new book, Kensington Palace, an intimate memoir from Queen Mary to Meghan Markle, dives into some of the goings-on with the Sussexes. Since the couple made their exit, what they do next and how it will reflect on the monarchy has the royal family concerned, Quinn told Fox News. Quinn explained, with Harry in the States, there's a risk that he could say or do something which will reflect badly on the royal family. Going to the States is only the last leg in what looks like a desperate search for meaning. There's a feeling in the royal family that they're desperately searching for a role in life because they don't have one. He continued. The royal family is nervous. You know, where will they go next? I've already heard that Harry's not very happy in California, so they may go somewhere else," Quinn added. Being in a gilded cage, you might think to be free of it, which is what Harry and Meghan want to be free of the cage, means that the sunlit uplands are suddenly there in front of you, but it's not like that. It's the same wherever you go, whatever sort of personality, whatever difficulty you have, you take those with you. And I don't think Harry and Meghan realize that yet, but they probably will.
check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.